chapter 18 of the book of Enoch. And I saw the repositories of all the winds. And I saw how he had ornamented all the creation and the foundations of the earth with them. And I saw the cornerstone of the earth. And I saw the four winds which support the earth and the firmament of the heavens. And I saw how the winds expand the heights of the heavens. And they remain between heaven and earth. And they are pillars of heaven. And I saw the winds which turn the heavens, which lay down the course of the sun and all the stars. And I saw the winds upon the earth which carry the clouds. And I saw the paths of the angels. I saw the end of the earth, the famine of the heavens above. And I proceeded towards the south. And it burns day and night there, where seven hills of precious stone are, three towards the east, three towards the south. But of those towards the east, one of coloured stone, one of pearls, and one of antimony. And those towards the south of redstone, but the middle one reached up to heaven, like the throne of God, of alabaster, and the summer of the throne of sapphire. And I saw a burning fire which was in all the hills. And then I saw a place beyond the great earth. There the watch, the, there the waters collected. And I saw a great abyss in the earth, with columns of heavenly fire. And I saw among them columns of heavenly fire, which fall, and are without number, either towards the height or towards the depth. And over the abyss I saw a place which had no famine of heaven above it, and no foundation of earth beneath it, and no water above it, and no birds upon it. It was a void place. And there I saw a terrible thing, seven stars, like great burning mountains and like spirits that petitioned me. And the angel said, quote, This is the place of the consummation of heaven and earth. It is a prison for the stars of heaven and for the host of heaven. And the stars that roll over the fire are they who have transgressed the command of God before their rising, because they did not come forth in their time. And he was enraged at them, and bound them till the time of the consummation of their sins in the year of the mystery. And for chapter 19. And he all said to me, quote, Here will stand the souls of those angels who have united themselves with women, and having assumed many different forms, have contaminated mankind, and have led them astray, so they brought offerings to the demons as to gods, namely on the day when the great judgment in which they will be judged, shall be consummated. And their woman, having led astray the angels of heaven, will be like their friends. And quote. 
And I, Enoch, alone saw this vision, the ends of all, and no man has seen them as I have seen them. Chapter 20 And these are the names of the holy angels who watch. Uriel, one of the holy angels, the angel of thunder and of trembling. Raphael, one of the holy angels, the angel of the spirits of men. Raguel, one of the holy angels, protects vengeance on the earth and the luminaries. Michael, one of the holy angels, namely set over the best portion of men, over the people. Sarakyo, one of the holy angels, who is over the spirits of the children of men, who endures the spirits to sin. Gabriel, one of the holy angels who is over the serpents and over the paradise and the cherubim. Chapter 21 And I went around to a place where not one thing took place, and I saw there something terrible, no high heavens, no founded earth, but a void place, awful and terrible. And there I saw seven stars of heaven tied together to it, like great mountains, and flaming as if by fire. At that time I said, quote, On account of what sin are these bound? And Why have they been cast hither? End quote. <coughs> and then what to Jerel, one of the holy angels, who was with me, conducted me, and said to me, quote, Enoch, concerning what dost thou ask? And concerning what dost thou inquire? And ask, and, and art anxious? These are of the stars who have transgressed the command of God, the highest, and are bound here to ten thousand worlds. The number of the days of their sins shall have been consummated. End quote. And from there I went to another place which was still more terrible than the former. And I saw a terrible thing. A great fire was there, which burned and flickered and appeared in sections. It was bounded by a complete abyss. Great columns of fire were allowed to fall into it. Its extent and size I could not see, and I was unable to see its origin. At that time I said, quote, How terrible this place is, and painful to look at, end quote. At that time answered Jorel, one of the holy angels who was with me, he answered and said to me, quote, Enoch, why such fear and terror in thee, concerning this terrible place and in the presence of this pain? End quote. And he said to me, quote, This is the prison of the angels, and here they are held till eternity. End quote. Section 5 Chapter 22 
and from here I went to another place and he showed me in the west a great and high mountain chain and hard rocks and four beautiful places and beneath them there were places deep and broad and entirely smooth as smooth as if a thing were old and deep and dark to look at and, it, and this time Raphael one of the holy angels who was with me answered and said to me quote these beautiful places are intended for this that upon them may be assembled the spirits the souls of the dead for they have been created that here all the souls of the sons of men might be assembled these places have been made their dwelling till the day of their judgment and to their fixed period and this period is long till the great judgment will come over them and quote and i saw the spirits of the children of men who had died and their voices reached up to heaven and lamented at that time i asked the angel raphael who was with me and said to him quote, whose soul is that one whose voice thus reaches to heaven and laments and quote uh. And he answered and said to me, saying, Quote, That is the spirit that proceeded from Abel, whom his brother Cain slew, and it laments on his account to his seed be destroyed from the face of the earth, and his seed disappear from among the seed of men, end quote. And at that time I therefore asked concerning him, and concerning the judgment of all, and said, quote, Why is one separated from the other? End quote. And he answered and said to me, quote, these three apartments are made in order to separate the souls of the dead and thus are the souls of the just separated there is a spring of water above it light and thus also is one such apartment made for the sinners when they die and are buried in the earth without judgment having been passed upon them during their lives here their souls are separated in this great affliction until the great day of judgment and punishment and affliction upon the revilers to eternity and the vengeance for their souls and here he binds them to eternity and if it was before eternity then this apartment has been made for the souls of those who lament and those who reveal their destruction when they were killed in the days of the sinners and thus it has been created for the souls of men who were not just but sinners who were complete in their crimes and they will be with criminals like themselves but their souls will not be killed on the day of judgment and will not be taken from here and quote 
At that time I blessed the Lord of glory and said, quote, Blessed is my Lord, the Lord of glory and of justice, who rules all things to eternity. End quote. And from there I went to another place towards the west, to the ends of the earth. And I saw a flaming fire which ran without resting, and did not cease from its course day or night, but continued regularly. And I asked, saying, quote, What is that which has no rest? End quote. At that time answered Raguel, one of the holy angels who was with me, and said to me, quote, That burning fire which thou seest running towards the west is the fire of all the luminaries of heaven. End quote. Chapter 24 And from there I went to another place of the earth, and he showed me a mountain chain of fire, which flamed day and night. And I went towards it and saw seven magnificent mountains, each one different from the other, and magnificent and beautiful rocks. Everything magnificent and fine in appearance and of beautiful surface. Three towards the east, one founded upon the other, and three towards the south, one founded upon the other, and ravens deep and winding, not one joining with the other. And the seventh hill was between these. And in their heights they were all like the seats of a throne, and surrounded with fragrant trees. And among them was a tree such as I had never smelt before, neither among these nor among others, nor was there a fragrance like its. Its leaves and buds and wood do not wither in eternity, his fruit is beautiful, like the fruit of the vine and the palm tree. And at that time I said, quote, Behold, this is a beautiful tree and a beautiful to look at, and its leaves are fair, and its fruit very pleasant to the eye. End quote. At that time, answered Michael, one of the holy and honoured angels who was with me, who was over them. Bracket, i.e. the trees, end bracket. Chapter 25 And he said to me, quote, Enoch, what dost thou ask me concerning the fragrance of this tree, and dost seek to know it, end quote. Then I, Enoch, answered him, saying, quote, Concerning all things I desire to know, but especially concerning this tree, end quote. And he answered me, saying, quote, This high mountain which thou hast seen, whose summit is like the throne of God, is the throne of the holy and great God of glory, the eternal King, will sit when he shall descend to visit the earth with goodness. And this tree of beautiful fragrance cannot be touched by any flesh until the time of the great judgment, when all things will be atoned for and consummated for eternity. This will be given to the just and humble. From its fruits, life will be given to the chosen. It will be planted towards the north in a holy place 
towards the house of the Lord, the eternal King. Then they will rejoice greatly and be glad in the Holy One. They will let its fragrance enter their members and live a long life, life upon the earth. As thy fathers lived, and in their days no sorrow, or sickness, or trouble, or affliction will touch them. End quote. Then I bless the Lord of glory, the eternal King, because he had prepared such for the just men, and had created such, and said he would give it to them. Chapter 26 And from here I went to the middle of the earth, and saw a place, blessed and fruitful, where there were branches which rooted in and sprouted out of a tree that was cut. And here I saw a holy mountain, and beneath the mountain, towards the east, water which flowed towards the south. And I saw towards the east another mountain of the same height, and between them a deep valley, but not broad. Therein also water flowed along the mountain. And towards the west of this was another mountain, lower than the former, not high and below, between them a valley, and other deep and sterile valleys were at the end of the three. And all the valleys were deep and not broad of hard rock. And trees were planted upon them, and I was astonished on account of the rocks, and was astonished on account of the valley, and was very much astonished. Sorry, yeah. Warm chicken salad. Thank you. Please turn your music down. Mm. Please turn your music down, Mum. Yeah. Who gave you this Bible? I purchased it. All oh, right. Hmm. Chapter twenty six. And from here I went to the middle of the earth and saw a place blessed and fruitful where there were branches which rooted in and sprouted out of a tree that was cut. And here I saw a holy mountain, and beneath the mountain, towards the east, water which flowed towards the south. And I saw towards the east another mountain of the, the same height, and between them a deep valley, but not broad. Then also water flowed along the mountain, and towards the west of this was another mountain, lower than the former, not high, and below between them a valley, and other deep and sterile valleys were at the end of the three. And all the valleys were dead, were deep and not broad, of hard rock. And trees were planted upon them, and I was astonished on account of the rocks, and was astonished on account of the valley, and was very much astonished.
And I said, well, what purpose is this blessed land which is entirely filled with trees in this cursed valley between them and far? Then answered Uriel, one of the holy angels who was with me, and said to me, quote, this cursed valley is for those who will be cursed to eternity, and here will be assembled all those who have spoken with their mouths unseemly words against God, and speak instantly of his glory. Here they will be assembled, and here will be their judgment. And in the latter days, there will be the spectacle of a just judgment upon them in the presence of the just, in eternity forever. For this reason, they who have found mercy will bless the Lord of glory, the eternal King. And in the days of their judgment, they will bless him for his mercy, according to which he has assigned to them their law. End quote. Then I blessed the Lord of glory and spoke to him and remembered his greatness as it is fitting. Chapter 28 And from here I went towards the east in the midst of the mountains of the desert and saw only a plain but it was filled with trees of the seed and water dropped down over it from above it was seen that the spirit that the water which it sucked up was strong as towards the north so towards the west and as in all places, so water and drew also ascended from here. Chapter 29 And I went to another place, away from the desert, approaching the east of the mountains. And there I saw trees of judgment, especially those that emitted the fragrance of frankincense and myrrh. And they were not like ordinary trees. Chapter 30 And above, over these, over the eastern mountain, not far off, I saw another place, valleys with water that does not dry up. And I saw a beautiful tree, and its fragrance was like that of a mastic. And along the edges of these valleys, I saw fragrant cinnamon, and I advanced over these towards the east. Chapter 31 And I saw another mountain in which were trees from which water flowed. And it flowed like nectar, which is called Sarira and Galbanum. And over this mountain I saw another mountain, on which were aloe trees, and these trees were full of hard substance, like almonds. And in taking that fruit, it was better than all the odors. Chapter 32 And after these orders, as I looked towards the north, over the mountain, I saw seven mountains full of pleas pleasant, nod and fragrant trees, and cinnamon and pepper. And from here I went over the summits of those mountains, far towards the east, and passed far above 
Eritrea and Sain, and went from it and passed over the angel Zeratel. And I came into the garden of justice, and I saw the mingled diversity of those trees, many and large trees are planted there, of attractive beauty and large and beautiful and magnificent. Also the tree of wisdom, being of one learns great wisdom. It is like the carob tree, and its fruit is like the grape, very good. The fragrance of this tree goes out in the spread far. And I said, quote, this tree is beautiful. How beautiful and pleasant to look at, end quote. Then the holy angel, Raphael, who was with me, answered and said to me, quote, this is the tree of wisdom from which thy old father and thy aged mother, who were before thee, ate, and they learned wisdom, and their eyes were opened, and they learned what they, that they were naked, and were driven out of the garden, end quote. And from here I went to the ends of the earth and saw great animals there, and one differed from the other, and the birds differed as to their appearance. Their beauty and voices one differed from the other, and to the east of these animals I saw the ends of the earth where the heavens rest and the portals of the heavens open and I saw when the stars came out from heaven and I counted the portals out of which they come and I wrote down all their outlets each one according to their number and their names their connections and their positions and their times and their months as the angel Euro who was with me showed them to me. He showed all things to me and wrote them down for me. Also the names he wrote for me and their laws and their deeds. Chapter 34 And from here I went towards the north, to the ends of the earth, and there I saw a great and magnificent wonder at the ends of the whole earth. There I saw three portals of heaven open in the heavens, from each one of them proceed north winds, when one of then blows, there is cold, hail, frost, snow, dew, and rain. And out of one of the portals, it blows for good. But when it blows from the two other portals, it blows with power. And there is misfortune upon the earth, and they blow with great power. Chapter 35 And from here I went towards the west, to the ends of the earth, and saw there three open portals, as I had seen in the east similar portals and similar outlets. 
chapter 36. And from here I went towards the south, to the ends of the earth. And there I saw three open portals of heaven. Out of them come the south wind and dew and rain and wind. And from here I went towards the east to the ends of the heavens. And there I saw the three portals of heaven open towards the east and over them small portals. Through each one of these small portals the stars of the heavens come and go every evening on the path which is shown to them. And as I looked, I blessed, and as each time I blessed, Lord of Glory, who had made the great and glorious wonders to show the greatness of his work to the angels and to the souls of men, that they might praise his work, and that all his creatures might see the works of his might and praise the great work of his hand and bless him to eternity. Section 6, Chapter 37 The second vision of wisdom which Enoch, the son of Jared, the son of Mahalalel, the son of Canaan, the son of Enos, the son of Seth, the son of Adam saw. And this is the beginning of the words of wisdom which I commence to speak and to relate to those who dwell on the earth. Hear, ancestors, and see, descendants, the holy words which I will speak before the Lord of Spirits. It is proper to name the former first, but from the descendants to we will not keep back the beginning of wisdom. And up to the present time, there was not given from before the Lord of the Spirits the wisdom which I have received according to my knowledge, according to the pleasure of the Lord of the Spirits, by whom the portion of life everlasting was given to me. Three parables were given to me, and I commenced to relate them to those who dwell on the earth. Section 7, Chapter 38, First Parable. When the congregation of the just shall appear, and the sinners are condemned because of their sins, and expelled from the face of the earth, and when the just one shall appear in the presence of the just who are chosen, whose deeds hang on the Lord of the Spirits, and the light shall appear to the just and to the chosen, who dwell on the earth. Where will be the habitation of the sinners? 
and where the resting places of those who have denied the Lord of Spirits. It were better had they not been born. And when the secrets of the just shall be revealed, then the sinners will be judged, and the impious will be expelled from the presence of the just and chosen. And from that time those who hold the earth will not be powerful and exalted, nor will they be able to behold the face of the just. For the light of the Lord of the Spirits is seen on the face of the holy and just and chosen. And the mighty kings will perish at that time, and he will give over into the hands of the just and holy. And from that time on, no one can ask for mercy from the Lord of the Spirits, for their lives have ended. <coughs> Chapter 39 And it will come to pass in these days that the chosen and holy children will descend from the high heavens. And their seed will become one with the children of men. In those days Enoch received books of zeal and of anger, and books of disturbance and of expulsion, and quote, mercy will not be upon them, and quote, said the Lord of the Spirits. <coughs> And at that time, a cloud and a whirlwind seized me from the face of the earth and carried me to the end of the heavens. And here I saw another vision. The dwellings of the just and the resting places of the holy. Here my eyes saw the, their dwellings with the angels, and their resting places with the holy, and they asked and petitioned and prayed on behalf of the children of men, and justice like water flowed before them, and mercy like joined the earth. Here my eyes saw their dwellings with the angels, and their resting places with the holy, and they asked and petitioned and prayed in behalf of the children of men, and justice like water flowed before them, and mercy like joined the earth. Thus it is among them to all eternity. And in those days my eyes saw the place of the chosen of justice and of faith. And how justice will be in their days, and the just and chosen without number before him to all eternity. And I saw their dwelling under the wings of the Lord of the Spirits, and all the just and chosen before him are ornamented as with the light of fire, and their mouths are full of blessings, and their lips praise the name of the Lord of the Spirits. 
and justice before him will not save us. Here I desire to dwell, and my soul runs for this place. Here my portion has been before, for such is established concerning me before the Lord of the Spirits. And in those days I blessed and exalted the name of the Lord of the Spirits with blessings and praise. For he has strengthened me in blessing and praise according to the will of the Lord of the Spirits. For all the time my eyes looked at this place, and I blessed him, saying, For bless him, and let him be blessed from the beginning and to eternity. Before him there is no ceasing. He knows before the world was created what the world is and would be from generation to generation. They, they praise, who do not sleep, they stand before thy glory and bless and glorify and exalt thee, saying, Quote, Holy, 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 the Lord of the spirits fills the earth with spirits, and for and here my eyes saw all those who do not sleep standing before him and blessing him. And they say, quote, Blessed art thou, and blessed the name of the Lord to all eternity, and for and my face was changed, and so I could see no more. Chapter 40 And after that, I saw a thousand times thousand, and ten thousand times ten thousand beings an innumerable and immense multitude who stood before the glory of the Lord of the Spirits. I looked, and on the four signs of the Lord of the Spirits I saw four faces, different from those standing, and I learned their names, which the angel who came with me announced as the names to me and showed me all the secrets. And I heard the voices of those four faces as they blessed before the Lord of glory. The first voice blessed the, the Lord of the spirits to all eternity. And I heard the second voice praising the chosen one. And the chosen one who hang on the Lord of the Spirits. And I heard the third voice asking and praying for those who dwell on the earth and petitioning the name of the Lord of the Spirits. And I heard the vo fourth voice keeping off the sa keeping off the Satans and not allowing them to come before the Lord of the Spirits to accuse those who dwell on the earth. After that, I asked the angel of peace who went with me, who showed me all things that were hidden, and said to him, well, Who are these four faces that I see? And whose voices I hear, and have written them down, end quote. And he said to me, quote, The first is the holy Michael, merciful, slow to anger, and the second was over all the sicknesses, and over, and over all the wounds of the children of men, is Raphael, 
And the third, who is over all the powers, is the Holy Gabriel. And the fourth, who is over penitence, and the hope of those who inherit everlasting life. If Fanuel, end quote, And these are the four angels of God, the Most High, and the four voices are heard in those days. Chapter 41 And after this I saw all the secrets of heaven, and the kingdom as it is divided, and how the deeds of men are laid upon scales. There I saw the dwellings of the chosen and the dwellings of the holy. And my eyes saw there how all the sinners were cast from there. They who had denied the name of the Lord of the Spirits. And they are dragged away. And there is no rest for them. because of the punishments which proceed from the Lord of the Spirits. And then my eyes saw the secrets of the lightning and of the thunder, and the secrets of the winds, how they are divided to blow over the earth, and the secrets of the clouds and of the dew. And there I saw also from it from what place they proceed, and from whence they satisfy the dust of the earth. How they are divided to blow over the earth, and the secrets of the clouds and of the dew. And though I saw also from what place they proceed, and from whence they satisfy the dust of the earth. And there I saw the closed repositories. And from them, the winds are divided out. And the repository of hail, and the repository of fog, and of the clouds, and his cloud hovers over the earth from the beginning of the world. And I saw the repositories of the sun and of the moon, from whence they come and to which they return, and their glorious return. And how one is more glorious than the other, and their fixed course, and how they do not leave their course, and how they add nothing to their course, and take nothing from it and preserve their fidelity one with the other, remaining steadfast in their oath. And first the sun goes out and makes his way according to the command of the Lord of the Spirits, and strives his name to all eternity. And after this, the hidden and the revealed course of the moon, completing the course of her way in that place by day and by night, one looking at the other, bracket, i.e. opposite each other, and bracket, before the Lord of the Spirits, and they give thanks 
and praise and do not rest for the thanksgiving is rest for them. For the shining sun makes many changes for a blessing and for a curse. And the course of the path of the moon is light to the just and darkness to the sinners in the name of the Lord who created a separation between light and darkness and divided the spirits of men and strengthened the spirits of the just in the name of his own justice. For neither does an angel hinder, nor is any power able to hinder. For the judge sees them all and judges them all before him. Chapter 42 